Jesus, if only you could see the way that you're set up right now. You're taped to a wall. I didn't think to bring my tripod. You're literally taped onto the, the mirror. Also, I'm wearing a top, just so you know. What's well, actually a dress. Should probably intro this now. So, um, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a, another get ready with me um, wedding edition. Okay, hi. I'm just going to pause the video right there. I know I say wedding edition. It's because I wore that makeup to a wedding. So that's why I said wedding edition. But I forgot to add in the part where it's literally just like formal makeup. Like you, it's not just wedding makeup. You can't just wear this to a wedding. It's makeup that you could wear to your prom, prom, don't know how to say that for my American viewers, homecoming for them as well. It's just like, you know, your formal, um, for Australian viewers, any sort of formal occasion you could wear this kind of makeup to. Um, Realising a long time after this that the glitter that I used wasn't eye safe. I didn't know that at the time. It's pretty straightforward, it's pretty obvious, but... I'm delusional and didn't think about it so maybe don't do those glitters but yeah I'm filming this on a Monday I went to a wedding on Saturday I wanted to film but we were really running low on time and I was stressed out so I didn't but I'm just going to redo what I did then and just kind of show you what I did uh, to get ready for that wedding um, I have fake tan on, not that you can tell because I look really white in the camera, but from afar, I don't know why there's a white line here, maybe it rubbed off from my shirt, I don't know, but um, there didn't used to be a white line there. I do have fake tan on, it's like come off on my face and my neck, so it's kind of annoying. It's definitely on my belly still, but it's definitely still on my belly because my belly looks more tan than normal. I don't know if that's gonna help you be able to tell, but yeah, my belly is definitely more tan than normal. I'm just, I'm letting you know that now, ahead of time, because I don't wanna get called out for having a foundation that is way too dark for me. This did match me on Saturday, and I'm gonna be using this because I used it on Saturday. So yeah, don't come at me for the foundation being too dark. It did match my fake tan two days ago, okay? Okay. Okay, also sorry if the lighting is bad, I've got this thing here, hang on, I'll show you in a second. I don't have any lights on because the lights here are yellow and it's not true to colour so I don't want to do that. And then I've got a skylight above me, you can probably tell, um, but it's cloudy and the clouds keep ruining the lighting and it keeps changing so if you notice that throughout the video, I'm sorry, I do have a little light here though. And I'll show you the difference it makes. So this would be it without the light. As you can see, I'm very dark because, again, the skylight is directly above me. So then this makes just enough difference, to me at least, so where I can be like, it's... I'm able to get away with it, basically. Just, only just, only just, but just able to get away with it. But yeah, sorry about the bad lighting, basically. I didn't bring my whole filming ordeal, so yeah. First thing I'm going to do is I'm quickly going to moisturise. I'll show you the moisturiser in a second. So the moisturiser I used is this Enya Premium All Over Moisturiser Vitamin E Lotion. So it looks like that. It's in a big bottle. Um, one litre, okay, one litre of moisturiser. I got this at Chemist Warehouse for like $3. So it's pretty good and it smells so good and vitamin E so it's 
good for your skin helps with like aging and stuff like that I know I'm only 19 but still you can't be too safe I am going to start off with eyes because it was very 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 messy because it involves glitter I don't want to do this again this was so stressful it's okay I'm gonna be okay I love the way it looked and I didn't even get a photo in it so I was pretty upset so I was like hey it's a good thing I'm doing this video because then I actually get to take photos hmm, nice tart shape tape just to prime my eyes now I have you taped to a mirror so if I'm looking this way it's because there's more mirror for me to look at than just my tiny phone so oh there's powder on this brush that means it's instantly setting the concealer I don't like that I forgot. I forgot there was powder on it. That's a bit annoying. Okay, it doesn't matter that much. Okay, the first thing I did, I hope I remember this all correctly. Okay, we don't want the map. Oof. Okay. Oh, okay. This will be kind of showing you how you're set up right now. If you can see. I don't think you can tell, can you? But, um, yeah, you're taped to the mirror. So, yeah, and then I have that little light thing there. Um, but the first thing I'm taking, the M573 brush, I'm going in with Pride. And then we're kind of just putting that in the crease. Now what's funny is originally I didn't plan on doing colour, like at all, like no colour, just very neutral colours. Colours. Very neutral shades. Just things didn't go to plan, okay. Apparently I can't stay away from colour. So I ended up doing a little bit of colour, like it wasn't a lot, it was like reds. I just know that the plan wasn't to go um, with colour, it was meant to go like browns. But you know, things change, my skirt was red, so, and I'll show you my outfit and everything later. But yeah, my skirt was red and I was like, mm, may as well do some red in the eyes and then it just kind of accelerated from there, you know, as things do. I kind of just put this all over, I know it looks intense right now and that's because it is what I did so yeah. I forgot to mention the palette didn't I the 25L live in color morphe I'm sure you could have gathered very easily but like I still forgot to mention it so figured I would that's like all I used from this palette was just that one orange shade the next palette I went into and where most of the rest of the look came from except the glitter came from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. So the shades that I used and will be using, I used this yellow, does that have names? Oh, okay, it does. I used Creamsicle, I used Hunts and Jacks. Um, so I'm going in with an E17 brush and I'm going into Hunts off the excess because it's pigmented I wish this had a mirror but it doesn't so let me go over here and I started blending that in like the crease as well and I think at this point is when I went in with the creamsicle color okay. M441. I'm going to dip in to the cream school shade like so. That wasn't on camera at all. And then I started kind of buffing it right near my eyebrow because I wanted that area to be a bit lighter. So it was more of a ombre blend, if that makes sense. Lies. Wow, this look is looking dark. The, it's look what what it looks worse on camera like it looks super dark on camera it's dark in real life and I intended it to be that way but it looks worse on camera because of this lighting okay now we're going in with ja stay still now we're going with Jax and this one's like very pigmented and a lot of fallout so this one <laughs> you gotta be careful basically but that's going in like the lower crease I kind of like stamped it in the crease. 
quite messily because I didn't really care. And then I would start blending with that brush just to get the colour even. And then I'd go in with the brush that I use Hunt and start blending it further because I didn't want it to be too, too dark. And the next thing I did, wow, I look crazy. Okay. On the day, I did go in with concealer and like carve out the crease and then put the glitter on. But since the glitter covers it all anyways, I'm not going to do that because um, I made the mistake of doing that on the day, not thinking about it. And then I looked up a lot. So like the concealer, any sort of gap where there wasn't glitter, like the tiniest little dot, if I looked up um, because of the glue and like just... The way that the glue and the concealer mixed made the concealer not completely dry down at all. So whenever I would look up, the concealer would like leave dots. So I'm just not going to use the concealer today. But I am going to take this EYS Glitter Fix Primer glue thing. And I'm going to put some on the back of my hand like so. The glitter is also a BYS glitter. It's just like an iridescent chunky glitter and I put that all over my eyes and as you can see by the little bits of glitter already on it and now on my finger I use this brush and this is the M432 brush and it's just like a little flat brush so I use that and I would just get it and dip it in some glue this is going to be so scary oh sorry I couldn't really talk while doing that um but while I'm fixing it up, I can. Oh, there's glitter everywhere. Um, so, yeah, what I do is I kind of wet one side of the brush and I start kind of patting glue around. And then I'll take the other side and I'll just, like, dip it in the glitter and, like, pick up glitter and, like, kind of place it. Um, it's very, 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 very tedious and it takes, like, a lot of time. So, I'll kind of just skip ahead in the video to when it's done because you, you really don't want to watch all this. So I've got the glitter on the eyes, as you can see. <laughs> I'm going to let you know how I kind of like, see if I go like this, it's like up here. I waited for the glitter to dry. And then, yeah, you can kind of see how it goes in unwanted areas and how that's a little bit annoying. So all I did was I took the same brush that I used for like this part, so like Hunt or whatever that color was called, and I kind of like, wiggle the brush in the crease and they like flake off and they'll like flake off into my face in a second and they also go into my eyelashes which is a little bit scary because I don't want this stuff in my eyes but ooh, did you see that probably not um there's one in my eyelash there so I have to get that um I'm just kind of letting you know that that's how I got if you do a look like this and you wonder how to get the glitter off your actual like crease uh, that's how I did it and it works relatively well in my opinion see like they're already gone because like the little you can see that some of it comes off like the part where you want it and I just go back over and I redo that area so that's why that's what I meant by it's very tedious Oh yeah, like the, the brush hairs kind of just, uh, just know how to kind of perfectly get underneath the glitter and flick it. So, that's why I used a brush. I just thought I'd let you know, because no, I'm not some miracle worker that knows how to place glitter in a specific spot and not have it go anywhere else, because glitter is just a mess. So, no, I'm not... A miracle worker I just use the brush to get off the excess glitter that is unwanted it literally looks like it's turning into nighttime <laughs> it's just really overcast and cloudy I don't want it to see the thing is I could turn the main light on as well that is also orange but also makes a noise so that's just a little bit annoying and I just don't like how this is Orange. Maybe you guys like it better though. I don't know because I can't ask you. It's raining so if you can hear that I'm sorry as well. So I'm going to leave it on for a bit and see if I grow to like it. Probably not. 
um, this is the eye look. The next thing I did after that was I did my foundation, or my primer, and then my foundation. So I'm going to get into primer. I'll show you what that is. I'm trying to talk loud so the rain's not as bad. The Paula's Putty Primer from e.l.f. Um, so ooh, that was way too much. Oh my god. I'm going to put primer on and you're not going to be able to hear me because I'm going to make sure you can't hear the rain. But I'm going to put primer on. There'll be music over this part. Okay, the next primer I'm going to put on is the Radiance Primer from Rimmel. I'm just going to be putting that on my face so I have like a nice glow. Lions gone and come. The birds have just begun. We were lo and this piece of glitter is trying to sabotage me. And the rain starts. Every single time I talk, the rain starts again. When I'm saying there's music over this, it just stops. And I'm like, oh well, let it be. Every single time I try and talk, though, can you not? Okay. I'll be back. Okay, it looks like it's just not going to stop. So, that's funny. But, the next thing I'm going in with is my Matte and Poreless Fit Me Foundation in 320. And I'm going to be putting some on the back of my hand. I made the mistake of putting too much on Saturday. Um, so, let's just start with that. That looks like a good amount for now. Shut up! And I dot it over my face. Yes, it's too dark. Again, it matched me on Saturday, I promise. Not that I have any photos to show for it, though. Well, then there might be some photos, like the photo we got of our whole table. But other than that, yeah, I didn't take any photos. I forgot. And now we're just going to start buffing that in. I'm just going to get a, a tiny little <laughs> M250-1 and kind of swirl it in the cap and get some more foundation because I don't want to waste the stuff that's in the cap. And I'm just going to start placing that on my neck. M224 brush and getting it from the sides of the bottle and also placing that on my neck. And I'm going to start dragging it down to my chest as well. I didn't have to do this on Saturday because my chest was really tan, but you know, that's gone. So, look at the difference. Like, that matched me perfectly on Saturday. Now, look how dark that is. That's insane to me. I don't know why nothing sticks to my neck or my chest. It's always been that way. Um, especially, like, tan in general, which is, this is a weird thing to say. Tan in general, like... I'm talking go out and get yourself a natural tan. My neck doesn't get tan. My neck is always white. You can imagine how weird that looks in summer. When most of my body, my tummy, my tummy tans so easy. My chest and neck area don't though. Like this, my, this area a little bit, oh, you can't see what I'm doing. This area a little bit, like I'll get those tan lines from like a bikini strap. But like when it gets to this area where you can see this makeup is, it doesn't really tan. So it always looks so stupid. I don't know why that is. I don't know. I don't understand it personally. Um, but nothing ever really sticks to my neck. So that's fun. And you'll see later on that this foundation won't blend properly on my neck at all. It blended fine on my face as you can see. Look, I've just blended down here and it's already getting patchy. It just it won't stick to my neck properly. 
I don't know why that is. If anyone knows, let me know if I can fix it somehow. But it, yeah, it's been that way for a very, very, very long time. Look how patchy it is. It's just how it works. So we're going to ignore it. And maybe I can do something to it in editing to make it not look so patchy. But probably not. But we're going to ignore that and pretend that it's not that patchy, okay? Okay. Wow, look how bad it is. <laughs> it's just like brown and then white. Okay. Again, ignore it. Because I wear a shirt... I wear a top and it has like straps here so I'm not going to go all the way out here and then get foundation all over my white top. So I kind of stop there where the straps will be-ish. I don't know where the... yeah. I don't know. Okay, and then after that I did concealer. I'm going to use the Maybelline Age Rewind. On the day I think I used the LA Girl one. I'm not sure what I used but whatever I used made my eye bags so much worse than they actually were. So I'm not using that again, that's for sure. And this is a lot lighter because this is for my actual like normal skin tone, not 13. I don't have a dark concealer, so I just use like a dark uh, ish powder over the top. I'm using the same Y6 brush to buff and blend. Hey. People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way And then, oh it doesn't even look that light today, that's good Oh I can see my radiant primer kind of coming out And it's making me look glowy, which I love Going to be taking this Fana Beauty Cosmetics Luxury Powder. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's from Wish, to be honest. But because it's a darker, like, banana -y yellow powder, I used that. Since my tan was dark, I didn't want to just have this white cast, you know? I just, yeah, kind of set under my eyes and the rest of my face with this. So that brush fit me uh, matte and polish press powder in the same no in 235 and I kind of just and then on the outskirts of my face to give me a little bit more warmth kind of like a bronzer you know we will always take a stand for the people for just going to very 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 lightly just tap into debutane I don't know what the heck that says you can read it be my guest not that it's gonna focus on it that was scary just like so kind of giving my face a little bit more dimension or whatever m405 with my elf bronzer sun-kissed glow bronzer i think i don't think it has a shade or anything but it just looks like that wow that looks really light on camera wow Whoa, what? When I'm looking in the mirror, it looks the same shade as my face. When I'm looking in the camera, it looks like a highlighter. Is that just because it's shimmery? Maybe it's the flex? I don't know. Anyways, that's crazy. I dip into it, and I do kind of use it like a highlighter because it has shimmer in it. I use it like kind of in between where my bronzer and my highlighter should go. If that makes any sense, and I just kind of did that. To give me that sun kissed glow or whatever it claims to do. And then I think I did my eyebrows next. 
so I went in with a Morphe pencil in shade Java. I'm obsessed with it. I'm gonna buy like 50 more of these. So yeah. Um, we must never stop the way. Yeah. should have plucked my eyebrows before this but yeah that's something I didn't have time for so I so so that's like one eyebrow done I didn't want them to be like perfectly filled in I kind of wanted it to look a little bit more natural so there's like some sparse areas but I wanted it that way so yeah so that's both my brows done they don't look the best but oh well <laughs> then the next thing I did was I did my lower lash line I don't know why I'm moving my hand so much and then what I did for that, it's pretty straightforward. I took Jax on a little E36 brush. Wow, this has been going for a long time. And I buffed it under my eye. Oh gosh. And then I just got like a little M321 brush and went back in with Hunt's and lightly went underneath that Jack's colour to buff it out just a little bit more, more of a smoky eye, you know what I mean? And I think I did that too much just then, but <laughs> oh well. I did it a lot on Saturday as well because remember how I told you that that concealer made my eye bags look really bad? I brought my shadow down a lot to kind of cover the bags, so... This looks very similar to Saturday. Anyways, I know it's brought down a lot. Yay, I know that. But, that's <laughs> how okay, I covered the bags. Anyways, and I got my black eyeliner. If I can find it. There it is. This is just an OXX Studio one. So, it came up brand. Get off me, you devil. I swear, I'm going to find glitter everywhere for the next two years. So, um, okay, yeah. And I put black eyeliner on. And then I curled my lashes. And then I got the... Scandal Eyes Wow Wings Room London Mascara. So that one goes everywhere, as you can probably tell. Because there's a dot here, there's some in my crease, and then it's like all under my eye and the lower lash line. Um, and a little bit on this side too. So I wait for that one to dry, because that one's the messiest. So this is what I use, it's like a little cloth. And you use it to remove makeup instead of makeup wipes. Wow, my lips look pink. Has the colour just stained my lips or something? Can't tell. They, look, they don't look that pink in person. That's crazy. I mean, this doesn't look that pink in person either, so... Don't know, I guess my camera's weird. I use these instead of, like, makeup wipes or cotton rounds or anything like that. A little part in, like, helping save the environment a little from the amount of makeup wipes I would go through a year is ridiculous so now I can just have one of these throw it in the wash and it needs to be washed and reuse it over and over and over and over and over again so yeah it's like a reusable makeup wipe forever basically that's what I do now um, instead of makeup wipes and I'll just put on my Carmex lip balm I'm nearly out of this stuff and I'm quite sad about it because it's definitely my favorite lip balm to date so yeah, and then I'm gonna, I know this isn't good, but I already curled my lashes because, again, not wearing falsies. Okay, I don't know how long I haven't been recording for, but, yeah, my phone just shut off. So that was really weird. I've never seen it do that before. I don't want it to be time for a new phone because I don't want to spend the money on that. So, that's fun. But I'm recurling my lashes. Don't know if I even curled them in the first place with you guys, but... Uh, yeah. Okay, now I'm going in with the Colossal Big Shot Volume Express Mascara. I think I said Colossal instead of Colossal, but you know, whatever. Oh, see, that whole phone dilemma happened, and um, now I've waited too long, and this is not wanting to mix with my other mascara the way it normally does. Mm, now they're just dry and clumpy. Yeah, I've waited too long, it's not gonna work, so. We're just going to ignore the fact that it looks like I don't have any eyelashes because I really don't. Now we're going to 
set the face and then while it's wet do highlighter. Using the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist, the Soph X Revolution palette, this golden shade right here. Kids across the six brush and with my old tried and true if you have stuck around for a long time you'll know what this is wish highlighter and it gets ooh, a lot on the brush and put that right in the inner corner like so I knew I was gonna be eating food so I didn't put any lipstick on I just put the lip balm on so i'm not going to be changing anything about that but yeah this was the finished look for saturday uh my hair didn't look like this but my hair actually looked pretty sh shitty oh nice scratch nice you can see that my cat loves me um it looked pretty crappy i'm not gonna lie because it was not cooperating but literally all it looked like was this like it was really messy like all up here and everything like that because my hair was not cooperating that day if it was cooperating it would have looked a lot different than this and a lot nicer but i couldn't do it to do much else well i couldn't do it i couldn't make it do much else i couldn't get it to do much else that's what i meant to say it just looked like this which is pretty crappy and um not what i wanted and not what i planned but not everything goes to plan so I had to make do with what I had and I had crappy hair so mm, yeah but this yeah is the finished look I forgot to put jewelry on that day as well like it was just a whole ordeal I forgot so many things Life is happy but it's so insane We must merely make a start I'll put the outfit on and I'll show you the outfit. Um, but other than that, that's it. I'm going to do the outro here. Um, but before the outro, you'll see the clips, which I'll insert here. Just so you know, these shoes sucked. They were killer to walk in. They were so painful. I was so dead by the end of the night. And, um, yeah, my shoes were definitely off for most of the night. Um, which isn't the most sanitary thing in the world. But, um, killer. Very killer. So, uh, do not recommend those shoes. They look nice. They look beautiful. But they kill. They really kill. So, just thought you might like to know that. I don't have like a comment to read or like a person's name to read but I'm gonna like I said like certain people stick out so I'm going to think I think someone that I remember I remember the first name I don't remember the last name I'll put it up here when um, obviously I edit this and there'll be a photo of the comment and the person's name but the first name is Angie I believe so yeah that's who I'm shouting out so thank you Angie for this lovely comment and for always being supportive because you stick out to me enough for me to remember your name so um yeah I know that you're always supporting me and I really appreciate it and yeah so that's this video's shout out Alrighty guys, that's it for today's video. Be sure to give it a like and share this video. If you're new to the channel, you should join the family by making the red subscribe button down below turn grey with the extra addition of the letter D at the end as well. I make new videos... Oofed. Hold up. I make new videos when I can, 
so you should turn on post notifications to be alerted of those up and coming videos as well as following my social medias to be alerted on there also. Thank you guys so much for watching, I love you and don't forget everything is going to be okay in the end and if it's not okay it's not the end. Cue the outro. Still got it. Some things never change, never change. Mm -hmm.